Good morning, guys. Well, as you can tell, there's a lot of news. <laughs> um, let's start here with uh, CNN doing it again. It, uh, it doesn't like how a congressman is uh, reciting the refugee crime stats. So what do they do? They just cut him off. <clears throat> he said, what is with you lunatics on the left and your obsession with refugees? You effing idiots. CNN has a long, rich history of suddenly losing connections to their guests after said guests stumble upon a series of words and phrases that goes against their talking points. Um, <laughs> you know, it just, it just never ceases with CNN, you know? God forbid you don't think just like what they want you to and say just like what they want you to. Anyway, moving on. Uh, futures decline, Europe slumps after German industrial orders collapse. Why are we not surprised? Worldwide economy is in the tank. Um, North Korea diplomat warns of major escalation that might turn into actual war. Here's what, here, here's what they're thinking of doing. If they go to war, they they may prolong or put off indefinitely they're hoping that they're going to get shut down um, North Korea knows they're about to get put down by either China the US or both and um, they're in huge trouble Kim Jong-un is he's just doing a number every day all day long he knows that he knows that China's after him they're fed up with him he knows we can't stand him, and with Trump in there, he, we're not going to play around with him. So, just saying. Uh, um, Trump care what happens next in one chart. They don't know what's going to happen next. Bitcoin crashing back below gold on China chatter. China's going to start their own Bitcoin, perhaps. So, just be aware of that. Uh, as I've said before, uh, Latest Trump tweets inspired by Fox and Friends. 122 vicious prisoners released by the Obama administration from Gitmo have returned to the battlefield. Just another terrible decision. He says for eight years, Russia ran over puppet Obama, got stronger and stronger, picked off Crimea, and uh, added missiles week, week, week. And uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, let's see here. Snap crashing into bear market. We're not surprised by that. Don't know where it's at. Don't really care. It'll fluctuate like crazy for a while. Germany's jihad on freedom of speech. You got jihad of, of freedom of speech going all over the place. <clears throat> it says in Merkel's Germany, you are allowed to walk free after setting fire to a synagogue, but not, after, but not for mocking the chancellor's sacred refugee policy. That is so true. Um... All clear issued after London Bridge area evacuation. The area around London Bridge, they say, near the heart of London's financial center has been evacuated and the bomb squad is presently investigating a security alert. Gee, I wonder what that was about. Hmm, can't imagine. Uh, Muslim? Could be. Uh, let's see. Atlanta Fed slashes uh, quarter one GDP to only 1.3 with Yellen set to hike. Uh, and then uh, it says here last night on Tucker Carlson House Intel Committee member Jim Hines a Democrat from Connecticut justifies spying on Trump campaign well of course they're going to justify it you don't think they're going to tell the truth about what's really going on do you um, and then uh, Washington Post employee arrested on charges of impersonating an ICE agent weapons and tactical gear recovered at home uh, it says Osterman would patrol while wearing a bulletproof vest with ice placard and Baltimore County police badge okay so he didn't like his job by day by day he works for the post by night he's ice man yeah Okay, hey, it's better than him impersonating a doctor. Think about that one. Think of those implications. Yeah. 
Alrighty then. See? And you thought it was going to be a bad day. God bless y'all. Have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>